Progressive education supports diversity of thought and diversity of culture. And one of the things that we embrace in the Center for Teaching and Learning is this idea of neurodiversity. Everybody's brain is different. Every brain is as unique as your fingerprint, and no two are alike. Students come in with different learning styles, different starting places in terms of background knowledge, and the tutors and the teachers together work closely to find out exactly where each student is, what their learning style is, what sort of modes will allow them access to the material in the best way, and help them all progress as far as they can while they're here. One of our goals this year was to open up the Center for Teaching and Learning to the entire student body, not just to the students who were working one-on-one -on -one with tutors. This year we offered evening study labs for students to find a quiet environment to get their work done. It's in the middle of campus. It doesn't feel like you're being shuttered away. It's not weird to go to the Learning Center because there's like other people there getting tutored at the same time that you are. So we have students who work with us on a regular basis. They may see us two or three times a week. It could be academic coaching with things like executive functioning skills, time management, organization, work production. We could see students who want to work on specific study skills. We have students who come in for content-based tutorials. So if they're taking a math class or they're taking a science class, we'll see them during that trimester, and then we won't see them for the trimester when they don't have that class. I'll communicate with the teachers about the kids that I'm working with, or they'll just come up to me and say, hey, you know, do you have Johnny or Susie? The kids come in and they, they worry about what they don't know. I'm just trying to help them to piece together what they do know, find those strengths, and then use those strengths to learn the material. One thing that's really, that's really common with students is just um, starting, knowing where to begin in a piece of writing. Like, they get so paralyzed by looking at a blank screen, it's so difficult. And so, just trying to give them ways to begin, to talk it out or sketch it out or whatever works for them personally, and just kind of give them an idea of, there are ways to begin that aren't necessarily writing. I think once you equip students with the organizational systems and the ability to break assignments down into manageable pieces. Um, and if, from there, if they're willing to get going and self-motivate, they're able to take the reins. And that can be a source of real confidence for these kids. In some ways, the rigor of the academic program here makes our job in the CTL a little bit more challenging because we are not a homework help center. For us, we need to guide them in a way that supports and honors what the teacher's trying to do in the class without us leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, getting them to the point where we know we want them to be.